Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Food Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another promo Friday inside of Festival of Football, inside of FIFA 21. Summer Stars Team 2 is what we are expecting to be here inside of FIFA today. Of course, the second installment of these Summer Stars items. It just makes sense with how the schedule is going and how this is the last week of Summer Stars. It would make sense since we've already had a Team 1 and a Team 2 for PTG and a Team 1 for Summer Stars. With this promo ending a week from today, next Friday, it would make sense that for this last week, we would again have Summer Stars Team 2. Now, I feel like it's a 95% chance that we get that today. Technically, we have no loading screen, and we don't know anything about a team coming out today, but that is what we are expecting. It just makes sense, right? Again, EA Sports branding all of this stuff with Team 1. You can see here at the bottom, Team 1, they showed when they posted Festival Football Summer Stars uh, that first graphic last week, and they did that same thing with PTG. So it just makes sense that there would be a Team 2 today. Again, it's not 100% confirmed, but we're expecting to see it today. This could be the last promo of FIFA 21. Let's talk about that for a second. This might be the last promo Friday of new cards that are in packs uh, with lightning rounds and stuff like that. It really might be. If they do footies, if they do maybe some sort of like summer heat, that might just be SBC based and, and then they re-release older cards back into packs, not necessarily having a full team of new ones in. So this is actually kind of a monumental Friday if that's the case. The last promo Friday of FIFA 21 could be today. So I want to talk about what that's going to bring, look at some predictions, look at the just newly upgraded PTG cards. EA went early with these again, not two days earlier this time, just one day early. I want to talk about actually why they did this and then also talk about the market and how I expect things to be moving today on this Friday FIFA. So first thing is first, let's take a look at a prediction for some cards that could be in packs today. I think a lot of us are really, really hoping for this guy right here, and that is Mr. Neymar Jr. I think a lot of people think he should be getting a card after we had Richarlison last week. A lot of people are saying Lucas Paqueta possibly as well could be getting a card today, a card today for Brazil. But a lot of people are hoping for Neymar to headline today's promo. Raheem Sterling, Lukaku, Insigne, DePaul, Luke Shaw, Renato Sanchez, a very, very popular item that could be getting a card today based off how he has played inside of the Euros, even though Portugal are done. Now, Thiago Silva being a part of this prediction by Simon Design, I'll put the link to, the, to this post in the description. Since we had the Thiago Silva yesterday released with a showdown SBC, I doubt that would happen. But uh, Pedri would be a sit card as well, and Mal, or Mail, however you say his name, would be a dope card as well. So again, just like we saw with Team 1 of Summer Stars, a lot of potential today for some really sick items. I feel like we're not going to have a 99 rated item unless they boost Neymar to 99. But there could be some big boy names, maybe a guy like Conte, again, Sterling, you know, Neymar. Those are all players that could be in Team 2 today, which we'll find out as, of course, we get to the content drop. Now, again, since this is the last week of Festival of Football, that also means this is the last week of the preview packs being inside of this game. Now, after this week, I think it sounds like it's going to revert back to normal. We'll talk about that as it comes. But for this Friday and for this week, we are going to see the exact same situation as we saw last week with a lot of supply coming to the market and a lot of people opening these packs basically for free and then deciding if they want to buy them, right? That's how these preview packs work. But just like last Friday, what I'm expecting is a lot of supply first hour. And if you guys remember, with Team 1 last Friday, you had a lot of cards drop down really low right away. Calvin Phillips was like 220,000 coins. He went all the way up to 290 before dropping down further. You also had guys like Richarlison go down to about 600, sorry, not 600K, about 900K, and then bounce back up to almost a million coins. I traded with three of those last week myself. Laporte was down at 200 flat. He went up to 300K in that first hour during lightning rounds. So you're going to see a lot of fluctuations on the cards today. One thing I will say is watch the cheaper ones, right? Again, Laporte and Phillips last week were cards that had big fluctuations. I think Isak did as well. And those were all cards that were really cheap in that first hour. So watch out today. Last week, last week we had a lot more saved up packs. This week, I don't think you'll have as many, but you'll still have a lot of promo packs that will be opened for quote unquote free before people have to choose to buy them with the preview pack method, which is going to bring some more cards to the market than it would 
uh, if things were still the old way. So just watch out for that supply right away in the first couple of hours to maybe knock these prices down. We don't have um, big games today. Last Friday, we had Euro games. We had Copa America games. I am expecting some of these cards to rebound up after a couple hours or so. Uh, as we get into the evening and as these cards get rare, I would expect some of them, the brand new ones that come out today, to go up on the market a little bit. Again, Cristiano Ronaldo, his price is up a little bit, 4 million coins. This is one thing that I want to talk about too with the cards that are coming in packs today. Let's say a Neymar does indeed come. Last week, what we had with the Cristiano Ronaldo card uh, is that the cards below right? The 98 versions of Ronaldo took a huge drop off in price. If we take a look at the team of the season, Cristiano Ronaldo... He's down at 3.3 million coins after being 4.4 last Friday when the new one dropped. He literally dropped a million coins the next couple days and has kind of slowly dropped even continually through this week. The same thing happened with the Messi special card. So a lot of people have already started to sell off this Neymar card depending on what position and what the stats are, if a Neymar were to get a special today, then I would expect this Neymar to continue dropping off more in my opinion. But if a new Neymar does not come out today and Neymar is not in Summer Stars Team 2, you actually might see this card rebound a bit because a lot of the panic selling you've seen this week for this Neymar is because people expect him to have a promo card today. So just be careful with that. That's one thing I'd watch out for specifically with the Neymar card. So again, since there's going to be supply coming to the market today with preview packs and lightning rounds and stuff like that, where I would be expecting to see a lot of this SBC fodder drop down to pretty good prices as well. Last week, we saw the lowest point for SBC fodder being on a Friday night, Saturday morning time frame after all the supply had come in. 84s went from like 11, 12,000 coins where they are tonight, all the way back down to about right here as you can see it they went down on friday and saturday to like six to seven thousand coins friday actually during the lightning rounds all these 84s were at like five and a half to six thousand coins at their absolute cheapest and they have doubled in price this week now up to 12k with the content being non-stop during this promo i expect this to happen again i would 100 percent look to buy some 84s 85s 86s today if they do drop and when they drop with the supply 84s around 6,000 coins, I think is a great price. 85s around that, you know, nine to 10 K range is a great price. And then even 86s around the high teens, like 17, 18, 19, if they get down to 17 K, which they did last week, I think that's a great, a great price for a lot of these cards as well. We're going to have more SBCs coming out this week, and that's just going to bring more demand for these fodder types of cards on the market this week. So that's one thing I'd watch out for. Now, let's speak about content today, right? We should have some new SBCs and objectives coming out on this game as well. And since I'm going to start here, since we had a showdown SBC for the Copa America final between Argentina and Brazil, we had Angel Correa and of course the Thiago Silva that dropped yesterday in FIFA. I'm expecting another showdown SBC today for the Euro final. So England, Italy, I would expect a showdown SBC for two players from that game today as well that would be out for a couple days before the final. So that's my expectation of part of the content that could be coming today. They also might drop um, a Summer Stars player SBC as well, you know, like we've seen the Shakiri, the Kimmich, the Patrick Schick this week, I would maybe expect another one of these to come out as well. So it could be, you know, three different SBC cards dropping today on Friday, as of course, these uh, summer stars from last week are all expiring today. A lot of those SBCs, again, that's kind of what we see a lot of times with EA Sports is a lot of these SBCs expire um, on the new Friday promo. They like to reset most things and boom, and have all that stuff available with the new week of the promo. So that's the SBC section is what I'm expecting there. And for the objectives section, we of course are going to be, uh, this goose is going, to, is going to be going away. And in my opinion, what they could put here is a Span Spanish, a Spain nation player because we have not had a nation player yet from Spain. And of course, they're out of the tournament, but they also have that weekend league plus objectives for this weekend requiring Spanish players. So I think that is something that could come via objective if EA would be nice and maybe give us another meta Spanish card or two because we have not seen those nation players yet from Spain. So that's one thing I think that we are hoping for. I talked about the stuff in packs. We talked about the SBC content and the objectives. Um, and, you know, if there's, you know, if you like opening packs or you want to take a chance for today, I'm probably going to be doing this. The 80 plus player picks 
probably not a bad shout if, I, if, you're, if I'm being completely honest. Do a couple of these and then stack them up for today's promo team if you'd like to do that. I'm probably going to stack a set, you know, maybe of 20, 30 plus of these just to open up when the new team is dropped in packs today. Of course, give myself a shot at an Amar, maybe a Conte, maybe a Benzema if he gets in, you know, Sterling, Luke Shaw, whoever. Uh, definitely going to do a couple of those player picks and save them up for later today. So let's talk about a few other things that have happened in the last little bit in FIFA, and that is the PTG upgrades, right? We had our upgrades a day early, a 99 rated Firmino card. The Acuna card is what everybody is talking about as the, you know, arguably the most craziest card we have ever seen in FIFA Ultimate Team history. Look at these stats, 96 pace, 94 shooting, 97 passing, 99 dribbling, 95 defense, and 97 physical. This card looks unbelievable. Now, with Argentina and Brazil playing in the final of Copa America, both teams are on the brink of one more upgrade, which would move all of their cards that are PTGs. Whoever wins this Copa America final is going to get five-star skills and five-star weak foot. So if Argentina were to win, this card would get five-star skills, five-star weak foot on top of all of this. And just look through these attributes, man. So many 99s. It's unbelievable. This has the most in-game stats, I believe, of any card in FIFA history in terms of stat. Unbelievable the amount of juice they put on that Acuna card and how he looks. And of course, Firmino being a 99 rated item as well. Actually, if you look in concepts, I just saw this earlier tonight. If you look in concepts, this is the first card that shows up in concepts um, in the game because it is 99 rated. It shows up in front of Pele, in front of the 99 Ronaldo and Messi, which is crazy. Uh, but a 99 rated Firmino with the upgrades that happened earlier tonight. Now, of course, my Ericsson card got upgraded as well. So that's a huge GG. My Urente card, those are the two cards that I had in my team that were getting upgraded. This card now looks stupid good as well with 98 pace, 97 dribbling, 97 physical, and 96 passing. This card looks incredible. And so does the Ericsson, man. Eclipsing 90 pace, 85 physical, 95 pass, 95 dribble. I'm stoked to try this card out once again with the upgrade on him. So that's a huge W. By the way, I packed Modric yesterday and Isak from the Guarantee, the Summer Stars pack. But I got this guy from Player Pick. Absolute scenes, man. I'm stoked for that one. I got to get Ramos done ASAP to link those guys together. Anyways, but those upgrades tonight have definitely moved some cards on the market. Now, again, we started talking about this a little bit on stream. There were some price range updates last night with some of these cards, which kind of moved their prices around a bit. And now since these upgrades have come out, some of these guys are moving around again. But this Verratti goes to 98 rated, 5 star, 5 star. With the Euro final, Italy and England, these Italian cards can no longer receive any more upgrades. They have maxed out since they have won all of their games so far as a part of the Euros all of their group stage games and all the knockout games up until the final, they have already gotten their six wins. Verratti, Florenzi will no longer get upgrades inside of FIFA. Those cards will not upgrade anymore. But for the English cards like Phil Foden, like Jack Grealish as an SBC, and of course, like Chilwell, they have gotten their rating upgrades as high as they can possibly go. This Foden has achieved its highest rating, 98 rated. But if they win the final, they will all go to 5-star, five 5-star. Five Grealish will be 5-star, five 5-star. Five Foden and Chilwell will all be 5-star, five 5-star five cards if they do end up winning the final for the Euros. They will not go up to 99. They will just get that 5-star, five 5-star five boost. But again, uh, the Militao card actually today is the one that's moved around the most. And right now, what you're seeing is I think people have seen how these cards have gotten their upgrades and they're they're selling them, man. A lot of people are listing up these cards because they've seen the 96 upgrade. I think the um, the Tiago Silva SBC with being 90 pace is hurting this card a little bit as well because that Tiago could be, you know, upgrade and also get a plus two to a 96 and kind of hurt this Militao's value because right now the, the Tiago Silva SBC is 291K with Premier League links. And it has similar stats to this Militao. But I think what you're seeing with a lot of these cards is people see these upgrades. They're getting towards the end. And, you know, just like this person who packed Militao and never sold him. First owner tradable fresh Militao that was probably packed when he was like 400,000 coins. Somebody is now selling it for 880k because they thought that when he got his final, final upgrade, which this card won't go any higher. It'll just go five-star skills, five-star weak foot. 
I think a lot of people were saving these cards for then. I think you're going to start to see some of these PTG cards actually drop off in price. Now, their cards are going to fluctuate still because there's still a lot of demand for some of these items, right? Like Acuna shot up in price tonight when his upgrade first happened. He's now kind of come back down a little bit, but these cards are still going to move around. All I'm saying is uh, I think a lot of people that have held on to these cards and are waiting for them to reach their highest price, you're going to see a lot of people sell. And with no more upgrades coming for a lot of these items, especially guys like Verratti uh, and, you know, even even a Firmino and a Militao, Firmino's reached 99 rated, right? Yes, he could go five star, five star, but that's only a plus one on his weak foot. He's already got five star skills. So I think that does not help his case at all. I think you're going to see a lot of these cards drop off in price. I think this Vinicius is way too expensive. 5.4. 5.5 mil? How much is this Vinicius Jr. right now, man? I think this card is way too expensive on this game. He's 6 mil. He was just 5.5. I think that's ridiculous, right? I know it's 97 rated. I know he's got the pace, the dribbling, the five-star skills. But I think it's. I think a lot of these cards are too inflated because they still have that live aspect to them. And I think they are going to be dropping off in the next couple of days and especially the next couple of weeks as these competitions end. And as people kind of sell them out of their teams is because I think they're going to see their prices drop and want to take the coins on some of those cards. So all I'm saying with these PTGs is be careful with them, but it's also the end game, right? So if any of these cards are ones that you want in your team and, you know, just don't care about if their price drops off a bunch, buy the cards you want to buy, use the cards you want to use in your team, because we're in that stage of FIFA where F it, just do it, buy the cards you want to use and have fun with the cards that you want to play it with. Is that, that's my opinion. So Again, today on Friday, brand new team of cards coming in packs with Summer Stars Team 2. That is what ex is expected. Maybe a new showdown SBC for the Euro Final, which we'll see on Sunday. And then, of course, all of the new content dropped inside of this game with the preview packs, with the lighting rounds, and maybe some saved up player picks. So, if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you are new. But it's been Nate Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.